During the pre brief period that I was here just sitting in silence, I was attempting to send a message to my Discord to let them know that I'm live. Because, you know, if I've got a Discord, I may as well let people know that I'm live through it. May as well, you know, tell them what's going on. And the message I sent was over committing to a project yet again. <laughs> because, you know, um, we'll, we'll get into that in a second. I've, I really set myself up in a, in, a, in a bit of an odd spot here. So, let's talk about the word overcommitting, or rather, the two words that make up overcommitting, I guess. So when I first typed it, I typed it just like, you know, oh, overcommitting uh, with... I, I think I accidentally left out one of the M's in committing, which... So understandable, um, it, it gave me the little squiggly red line underneath it. It was like, this word is not spelled correctly. And I was like, okay, 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 I, I didn't spell... Like, there's, there's gotta be a hyphen in there. There's gotta be, you know, something separating the words. Of course, of course. So I put a hyphen in between over and committing. And, you know, an effort that that will fix my problems and, you know, make the red line of death go away and uh, ultimately let me send my message in full conscience that I've spelled something correctly. I put a hyphen in between there. And it's still there. <laughs> Could be, would you say you have commitment issues? Oh, I do. I certainly do. 100%. But here's the part where it gets weird. Because the red line of death was still there. It wasn't underneath the over or the hyphen. It was just on commitment. So, yeah. I was like, what's up with this? I was staring at it. Like, I, I knew I'd accident left out an M, so I went in and put it in again. Nothing was fixed. It was still just staring at me. Chat, I put another T in and it, the line went away. I don't know if this is actually how it's spelled because it doesn't make sense in my brain, but here I'm gonna type in chat. C O M M I uh, T T M E N T. It had me spell commitment like that. Or, uh, uh, I mean, I guess it was over committing. Okay, so I guess it was more like this. It was more like that. It was over like, it was more like that. And isn't that just weird? Isn't it just, like, I mean, it's, it's. <laughs> It's understandable that it would add in another T for that, but like, why? But like, what's what's doing that? So weird, but less panic. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense. It, it, it does certainly make sense, but like, why? <laughs> Anyways, the intro music has let me know that it's time to just get move on with my life. So let's, uh, I'm just, I've just been listening to like the 118 music on loop the last few days. We're going to keep going with that. Makes me think of committee, two M's, two T's, two E's. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand it. It was odd, it was strange, it was quite frankly a little bit upsetting, but you know what? We're not here to talk about that. Um, oh, I do have a very quick announcement before we actually switch to um, the game. Uh, remember when I said that the frog emote would not be the last new emote that would be added recently? Let me just pop something in chat here for you guys. Um, boom! New emote. And let me tell you, I'm absolutely in love with them, with the last one. Sorry, with uh, with this one. The, the frog one is cute. The frog one is great. But like, this is Tally. This is my dog. I I know I haven't shown any pictures of her or anything, but like, she's an emote now. So you know, you, and you know, I have I haven't seen any pictures, but like, it's her. Tally art reveal exactly. Now, and now you all can look at look at the art and think, ah, yes, that is what Quimby's dog looks like. Tally art reveal, good girl reveal. I love it. Yeah, oh, me too. I, I, this art is just so accurate to what she looks like. Actually, uh, it, Shardstone does such a good job with the emotes. It just it, my dog. That's my dog right there. That's my good girl. And uh, I, I'm just absolutely in love. So, um, yeah, new a new emote. <laughs> Wake up, babe. New emote just dropped. Um, I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, you know, I think it's a, I think it's absolutely precious and cute. But okay, now that I've, now that I've geeked out a little bit about the emotes, um, uh, it's about time to get into playing the game. So let me just go ahead and switch the scene over in about three, two, one, and. Hello, welcome back to the game. When Sharpstone comes up today, I want to give them three tallies in support. I think you should. I think you should, because, um, 
because Tally. Tally, my puppy. I'm just, I'm just so happy about this, guys. I, I've been meaning to get new emotes for such a long time, and then Shard Spoon like figured out the whole thing and was like, "Hey, I do art," and I went, "Oh." So a big shout out to Shard Spoon for um, being very cool and, uh, I, I don't know, just offering their services. I want to make a campfire. I also need carpet. I do not have carpet. Sorry, I'm making another beehive so that I can have an even amount of beehives to collect honey from so that I can always get an even amount of blocks when I go. When I come for it. Um, welcome back to my hardcore world. It is very pretty around here. Um, and uh, I've been working on building a villager trading hall and over committing to certain resources on it. So, for instance, um, the walls behind where, where the villagers are going to sit are going to be made out of honey blocks. So, that's neat. Oh gosh, do I have anything that needs to get smelted? Um, that is an awful lot of fire to have just hanging around. Ooh, um, I'll, I can smelt some cactus. I don't need to smelt cactus. Whoa, hold on, this is um, a big panic moment. That's a lot of fire, that's a lot of fire. Do I have any like ores sitting around? I've got like, I've got like some copper ore I could shove in there. <laughs> I know it's not that big a deal, but that's a lot of fire. Oh, the music is just a teensy bit loud for my tastes. There we are. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I've got 22 raw iron, that'll do it. 22 whole raw iron. So yeah, long story short, I need a lot of honey, I need a lot of um, mud bricks, I need uh, I need to find a mangrove swamp to make this idea work. So um, yeah, that's that's how it be. What did I, what did I come in here for? Carpet. Do I have any carpet already? Yes, I have one. I have one carpet. Let me just go set up another beehive. And then we can get set on doing some other things, like making a lot of mud bricks. I like the mud bricks. I think they are a really pretty block. And the sound they make is just excellent. Oh, but, um, I don't think- I don't think I've mentioned this today. I hope y'all are having a good time, a good day, just, I don't know, a good- good life. Uh, you know, we're- we're here to hang out and have fun, but, um... But may you also just be having a good time in your normal life. Okay, let's get this all set up. And then beehive for the bees. I want to pick up some flowers and feed my bees so that I can have more bees. Because now that I've got a new beehive, I can have more bees. And that means that I need flowers. But I don't want to use the azure bluets because the azure bluets are special and important and cannot be used for such a trifling thing such as bees. Listen, bees are not trifling, but like, the azure bluets are important. I gotta, I gotta pull my flowers from elsewhere. So I'm just gonna steal some dandelions from down here. I don't want to take like too many from one spot because I do still want to preserve again the natural beauty of the area. And probably, I, I probably just need like six flowers. So let's just, let's just start with that. You know, six flowers, three bees, it'll work great. Have I been down this little hole in the ground? Oh, it's got water and I don't need to go in it. It's fine. <laughs> the distractions have already started, but um, but I'm, I'm gonna get things done today. For sure, gonna get things done. 159%. Let me just climb up a mountain real quick. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Let me, let me just, um... Let me, let me just mountain climb. Gosh, I wish it was this easy to climb mountains IRL. Can you imagine if I was just like, well, I'm gonna go find a mountain and then I'm going to climb up it. That would be, honestly, I don't know how much I enjoy that. Like, uh, hmm. I like going on walks. I like seeing nature and stuff, but like mountains are tall. I'm too far away from the bees. One moment, please. We are experiencing technical difficulties. The bees! Alright. You and you. Yes, 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 yes. 
All right, now there's B, B, B. Then you and you. More B, 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 please. Give more B, please. Give more B. I desire B. Have you been fed? Okay, I need to find someone who hasn't been fed yet. Is it you? Nope, that was a baby bee. Um, wow, I am now one flower short. Oh, that's not good. Hold on, there's, um, there's a dandelion right here. There's a dandelion right here. One singular dandelion. This will have to be enough. Okay. There we are. Okay. Okay, okay. That will give me three baby bees. And I will wait to harvest until this last hive gets another bee, it gets honey from it, so that I can maintain having an even number of blocks. Whew, okay. That's the bees. Let's go look at what we're working with. I'm gonna need so much wheat for this. It just hit me. I'm gonna need so much wheat. Gosh, okay, this might be a moment when, um, when I just sacrifice large amounts of bone meal. Because, uh, oh wait, sorry, no, I don't keep wheat in there. I actually keep wheat in my temporary housing over here. I've got these 64 packed muds. Wait, no, no. Pa no, that means I've already put wheat in it. Oh my gosh. So I, I just have 64 mud bricks now. Okay, I was so worried for a second. We're fine. We're fine. Let me put the shears away because I don't really need them for anything. And my inventory is already such a mess. And let's drop off all the bottles for now because I... Yeah, I'll drop off the bottles because I'm not using them at the moment. And then we will go from there. Maybe someday I will get good at, like, you know, actually knowing what I'm doing. And in fact, let's even do that. got my two honey blocks it's a slow process but we're getting there I should probably have brought some melons with me so yeah welcome to my um trading hall to be it's still in progress at the moment um I'm planning on getting purple frog lights to replace these ones to put on the ground I'm not sure if I want to do them up here or to have a layer of glass between them because I don't love the sound that they make it just sounds very wet, and that kind of concerns me a little bit. But, uh, honey. Mmm, honey. Isn't that like an achievement for- sorry, advancement for catching yourself in a honey block? Oh, I'm gonna need so much honey for this. Yeah, okay, the guy already has a new trays. Music still just a teensy bit loud. It's nighttime already, somehow. I, like, turn around and it's nighttime. I was- I was just outside and it was day, but then, you know, I, I go downstairs once and it's nighttime. So. Welcome to my life. I'm gonna need to harvest more melons soon. Which isn't a problem, because I've got a, quite frankly, ridiculous amount of melons, but... You know. Still interesting. Oh, yeah, and this takes us to one of the big issues of this design. <clears throat> the XP. I wonder if there's some way in the future I could like have a fence post here or something so the XP could go through to the bottom line. Uh, maybe I just need to- maybe I really just need to have a tunnel going back behind to let me break the honey blocks and get XP because it's not a huge deal but it is sort of bothering me. Just a little bit. But, you know, that is almost certainly a future Quibi problem. Present Quibi problems are things like, you know, um, getting all of my mud in place. Can you... I, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but I... Can you, like, put mud bricks in a furnace and do something with that? Just out of curiosity? Because... Again, I don't remember if that's actually something I heard or if that's just like 
I don't know, false advertising, or my brain just thinking of things. That does look pretty great. Oh, doesn't it just, though? Also, hi, point blank. Welcome to the stream. I'm just a little bit in love with how the mud is looking. Oh, wait, hold on. Have you already renewed your trades? Yes, you have. Love this guy. I hate doing this, but love this guy. I really just need a better XP collection system. Oh, hi, Alpha, welcome to the stream. It's been a hot second. But yeah, oh, I, I'd love, I, I, this room is coming along really nicely. Like sure, I need quite frankly, ridiculous amounts of honey for it. And also I need to get more frog lights and also I need to find a mangrove swamp. But you know what? For what we've got at the moment, things are pretty good. I just, I don't know, there's, there's just something about block pallets and builds coming together that just makes me very, very happy. I'm going, I'm really going to need to go harvest more melons soon. Notifications, no work, I just remember now. I mean, no tea, no shade. I'm not like, where have you been? Um, I'm just happy to see you again, because it's been, it, it has been a minute. I hate that, I hate that part of this all. What can I do? to make the XP for this guy more accessible. I could move the composter up and cover the face, but that feels wrong. That feels wrong and incorrect. Oh gosh. Do people who do trading halls just not care about notifications? Sorry, I, I, was, I just looked at the word notifications and so I almost said it. Do people who do trading halls just not care about XP? Is that their secret? If I want to be an effective trading hall person, do I need to not care about XP? Because I, I kind of do care a lot about XP. I'm gonna- oh, I'm gonna go check on my bees. I'm gonna- I'm- I'm gonna take a break from this concerning existence to go see how my bees are doing and maybe harvest some melons while I'm out. It sounds really relaxing and great. So I'm gonna do it. Uh, I know, torture them in a relentless wall of flames with floors of magma against their will, and force them to give you everything for free. <laughs> Imagine I'm just like, hey bud, hand over the emeralds. As long as you hand over the emeralds, everything's gonna be okay, but listen, you just gotta cooperate. Give me the emeralds. I would feel guilty about that, honestly. I would, like, I, I already feel bad enough that I'm actually making a trading haul. There's probably a way to automate this, but, uh... Oops. Oops, I simply do not automate it. Oh, whoops, that's so si oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, that's- haha, <laughs> that's so silly. That's- that's so funny that it's just simply not automated. Oh my gosh, ha ha ha. Funny joke. Funny joke time. Um, I will- I will say, so Alpha, I do have a- I do have a magma, um... <laughs> A magma cube underneath the block that the guy- uh, underneath the composter, sorry. I, I have a magma block underneath the composter, which effectively um, kills the villagers' pathfinding um, algorithm because they they will not walk onto something that will cause them harm. So, um, yeah, no, there's definitely nothing unethical about this whatsoever. Welcome to my melon farm. It needs a bit of work still, especially with, like, aesthetics and stuff, but... You know, it surely does grow melons, is, and that's the important thing. That's what we're looking for. That's what we like to see around here, is the melons being grown. Look at that. So it, 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 it grows melons. I'm a success. Um, I've seen it for like four, two months because I got a bit four times in the lake. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Like, listen, again, it's, uh, it's, it's never my policy to police people's attendance on streams. I'm, I'm not gonna be salty if you ever just, like, disappeared to the void or whatever, but... Are you okay? <laughs> are, are you doing alright? I also need to find some better ways to do light in here, but... That's such a, that's such a future Quimby problem. Man, I can't believe that future Quimby has to deal with problems like that. That's so funny. Thanks, future Quimby. You're a real one. Other side is such a bop. 
I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just here, like, harvesting melons, and the other side is giving me the strength to carry on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm focusing a lot because the diagonal pattern kind of stresses me out a little bit because I know that if I make one wrong move, I will destroy the base plant for the melons. And I don't want to, I don't want to regrow melons. I already did that. Um, excuse me, I already grew the melons. I shouldn't have to be responsible for growing them again. So, uh, yeah, sorry friend, but I just, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to not. I'm also going to need to take, um, also gonna need to take some shears sometime and actually trim those off properly. So that they stop just growing all the way. Just, just stop growing. Oh, hi Lord, hey, welcome to the stream. Hope you are having a good time. I am harvesting melons to distract myself from, uh, from just how much work I have to do. It's a lot of work. I'm gonna need to get purple frog lights for what I have planned, which means I need to find a, a, a warm biome that will give me the white frogs, which then I can take to the nether, and then I need to find a way to get magma cube to them, so that's cool. Okay, more melons have grown, but I'm, I'm done. I've, I've got enough. I've got three stacks. That's surely enough. No, um, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I know I say almost that I hope you're doing well, and then many times you're not. But I want to let you know that I, I still, I, I still just hope that things are going for better for you every time I ask. Please tell me it's not nighttime outside. Oh, thank goodness! I was so worried. I just again, I go underground once, like one little time and it turns into nighttime. I don't understand it, but I guess it's not my job to. Do I need to take a bunch of glasses down? Ah, yes. Gotta do, gotta do that, um, you know, oh wait, I've got a whole ton of things on my desk. I have to clear it off a moment. I do that, I do that like once a month-ish. I'll just realize, oh, I've got a lot of stuff stuff piled on. Um, I think probably the, ooh, ooh, ooh. In Skyblock, Economy Edition, me and my friend have a life savings of melons since they can sell for, uh, 500,000 plus? Wow. That's intense. <laughs> that is, that is intense. That's a lot. Um, oh, just quick little, <laughs> quick little desk tour. I'd say the two most unusual things I have on my desk is, you won't be able to hear this one, but, um, I have a little felt pumpkin. That I got in October and I put it on my desk because it was cute and it has sat on my desk ever since. Um, so that's one unusual thing on my desk but the other one and this one you can hear. I've got a little packet of Legos. Um, I haven't ever opened it it's just like six bricks and stuff but um, yeah I've just got I've, I've got a little stack of a little a little group of blocks on my desk. Economy Edition is funny. I've never, I haven't ever even ever played normal Skyblock. I've only done the high pixel version. Uh, I always get anxious whenever I don't actually like pause the game. Whenever I just open my inventory to free my mouse, um, it's probably fine. Uh, Three hundred dollar special Legos, maybe. I'd have to, oh, I'd have to figure out how I wanted to do that because. A, I'm not actually that good with Legos, and B, like, that would require, like, camera work. But I'm not... I'm not opposed. Oh my gosh. See, it's it's a decent amount of XP. How do... How did... How? How can I make this work for me? How do, how do I... Hmm. How do I get the XP to not get trapped inside of the room? Uh, the legitimate question. If you guys, if you guys know anything about that, I would gladly listen, and um, and take your advice. For the moment, though, let's get some more um, let's get some more mud going on here. I'm a, I'm a big mud fan. Mud is just, it's just nice. There. Okay, I don't love the way that the warped stem sounds and I don't love the way that the frog lights sound but they're pretty blocks and they um and I and I want to have what they give me 
so I'm kind of, I, I I just have to suffer, I think, is the answer. Uh, Quimby, stop doing formulas. Uh, sit down and drink jasmine tea. The stream does not need the quadratic formula. But what if it did, though? What if, secretly, if I did not include the quadratic formula in this stream, all of you would die? And it's my responsibility as the streamer to ensure that you guys don't die. So I'm just, I, I'm, I'm doing my best for you guys, you know? I, I'm trying not to make it too obvious because I know no one wants to hear the quadratic formula. But like, but if I don't, bad things are going to happen. Some bad, bad things are on the horizon if I can't figure this out. You I've got exactly one extra mud brick. What do I want to do with this mud brick? I think I want to hold on for it, to it for now because I don't know what I want to do with these walls yet. Uh, but what? Dead. Yeah, the big rip. Big rip, big sad. It's so cool, I love the mud. Um, I think I do want to do something different with these top blocks, or at the very least with this next layer. Just to provide contrast, and I think that's where I want the mangrove wood to come in, which means I need to find a mangrove swamp. Which, um, big rip to me. Big, big rip to me. So maybe, now that I've got the mud in place, it's time to start putting in some effort on some other things. Oh my gosh, can it just- can it just stop doing that? Once I get another villager in here, I won't be able to just come around and take the thing. I really hate that we're going on a school trip tomorrow. The reason I hate it is because the school does not get a bus to drive us there and they think we can make it in 55 minutes. Ooh, rip. Have you had school kit talk? You know, adding the new blocks and all? Um, that would require me to find a deep dark biome, which I'm actually planning on never doing in this world because that would bring up the possibility of death, and I really want to avoid death. Um, it's in the city. Oof, going to cities is always an ordeal. So, um, I def I think, I think probably the next step is either finding a mangrove swamp or getting the purple frog lights. And I'm gonna be honest, I think that the purple frog lights is going to be the next easiest thing to do. So, yeah. Yeah, I think, um, I think it may be time for me to empty my inventory and go on a little journey. Which I'm not pleased about. Oh no, not the city. Just please leave me be in the suburbs. Me when I have to go to the city, I guess. Um, I'm gonna put the mud brick in here for now. I'll probably eventually make it its own spot but for now it's just like one of it doesn't make sense um i mean I, I i like visiting cities um but i don't think i'd ever want to like live there or spend a large amount of time in in there and like i don't know it's, it's fun to try new food and see cool sights and you know maybe occasionally see like a show or something but uh yeah, no, not, um, most of the time, big, big deal on that. So why, pray tell, are all of my honey boxes done except for this one? Do I need to make more bees? Well, did you know that mud brick would cause the warden to sense the, the hobbit hole? That sounds concerning. Sir? Sir? Well, that was weird. Well, that was odd. Oh, it's a late bloomer. Well, I'm wondering if I need more bees, because I did make three more bees when I put this hive down. But maybe it just needs, like, more time for it? Hmm. Because I'm just not sure that the bees have, have taken it as their home yet. Hmm. But the question is, if I, if I, like, get another bee, will that be too many bees? Have I hit capacity on bees? Okay, okay so those, be those bees were entering the hive. That's good news. That's good news that they were entering the hive. Now they just need to exit the hive to, to increase the, um, the honey count to hopefully get it to, uh, to harvestable levels. Yes. 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 
Come, come on, come on. Are are you are you are you stuck? Okay, no, the bee was not stuck. This is fine. Wish I could just call in sex order and distress with the bus system. I mean, is it like a required field trip? Is it something that you like absolutely have to do? Because if so, that sounds pretty gross. Yeah, oh gosh. Hmm, yeah, if it's required, I don't want to tell you to just skip it or anything. I could not. Do you sink into. Oh my gosh, you sink into beehives. Wait, chat, did you guys know this? Did you know that you sink into beehives if you. Oh my gosh. You sink into beehives. That's so weird. Oh, the bees don't like to come out during the night, during the rain. Oh, that's. Oh, that's concerning. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to harvest if not all of the hives are ready to go, because then I'll end up with an uneven number again. Hmm. Fence posts are higher than every block. Well, but I mean. But. Oh, oh thanks for the poop, Alpha. I appreciate that. Oh, I guess maybe I am standing on the other block. Huh. Oh, okay, okay. I could see it. I could see it. Listen, I love the rain, but could it just be nighttime already so that I can sleep and have it stop raining so that my bees will do things? Did you not read my message? No, I, I did. I did. No, I mean, Lord, I, I commented on the, on the thing about the fences that maybe I was just stepping onto them. But... Definitely, definitely did that. Boop, yes, boop. Can I, can I sleep, please? <laughs> so that my bees will exit the hive and give me honey, please? Please, 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 please. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is- the, the, ah, it's such a little thing and I probably should just harvest the other honey and go. Spike fence? Oh, no, this- ah, the, I, I've been foiled by the spike fence. How else will I- if I- if the spike fence is blocking my way, how will I get through? This is so sad for me personally. Gosh, I love this little- this little the valley right here. I found a buster. Oh, congrats. May your bus route be good. Let me- just let me sleep so it stops raining. Just so I can get this one last beehive to do its thing. I- I- I'm so busy I don't- I don't have time for this today. I need to find a worm biome to make- to- to get frogs. I- I need to- so I can get the purple frog lights. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't- don't do this to me, please. Come on! Ah! <laughs> can it just- can it just stop? Oh, is that the sky changing colors or am I being crazy? Nope, I'm being crazy! Uh, but, I'm, but most likely we'll- most likely we'll be late. Big rip. That is rough. Like, I don't know if being late would be- maybe being late would be a good thing if you don't want to go on the field trip, but like, I guess that doesn't take away the fact of having to travel at all. Okay, it's all- I can see the sky changing color. Please just let me sleep. Yeah, I hope that- the, I hope that there's at least one good thing about the trip. If- you know, even if most of it is terrible, may there- may have a, at least like one good thing. We're going to news- uh, we're going to- you know, going to talk about newsletters. I'm gonna be honest, I- I would think that was interesting. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That was... So many bees that just... Exploded out of the hives. Wow, okay, um... I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> wow, th those bees really all just... All just hopped out at the same time, huh? Woo! 
I'll get some burgers from Burger King. After I pay for it, that is. Oh, good. I'm glad that you specified that you're going to pay for the burgers because that's definitely something that, um... Yeah, no, pay for burgers, please. Unless the burgers are, I don't know, ridiculously overpriced and also are, like, I don't know, hurting people by being made, then don't pay for the burgers. Simply do not. Got four honey blocks. Let's go put them in place and then go. The bees were like, hey, soldiers out! They really just went for it. Like, the, the bees just... Wait a minute. They, they just all exploded. But not really. Just in a, in a metaphorical getting out of the hive sense. Mm, I'm gonna need so much honey for this. Alright, but with not much further ado, I believe it's time to see if I can find a place for frogs. I think... Okay, thinking about it... It might make more sense to bring some leads with me. So hatch the frogs, bring leads. Or uh, do I want to bring obsidian to make a portal there? Or do I want to... Uh, oh, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, I only have four obsidian, which is, you know, already a bit of a... A bit of a check on my power. Um, hmm, I, I can get more obsidian. I can, like, find lava somewhere and just get more. Because it probably would make more sense to just build another portal where the frogs are than to try to bring the frogs here. I, I want to bring leads anyway. Uh, I only have one lead, though. Hi. My cat's always not help me. Okay, I've only got two bucket of tadpoles left. So, you know. I guess my chicken's all, yo. Uh, uh, gonna get a medium whopper menu and medium long chicken burger menu for oh nice that does sound that does sound good sorry I just um I'm I'm looking for more Minecraft music to listen to because we finished the 118 music um, Minecraft music. Shakes are good. I, I like making shakes. But like very basic shakes. Um, one second. Let's do like 117 era soundtracks. Because that's cool. I like 117 era. Things I need. I need more obsidian. I need... Um, I need to find a warm biome. And then I need leads to maybe carry frogs with me um cool new emojis ew i would like ones or fall help fall cry fall winning mecha robot they no work oh big sad big sad that they do not work if it were up to me they would work i could just make more leads i've only got one slime ball but i could do it you know if i if i need more slime i can just stop by a swamp somewhere this is fine. This is fine. It's it's totally fine. I will just I, I will just use the one slime ball and have no issues at all with it. Yep, so now I've got two leads. Um we've got a lead, officer, we've got a lead. Let me drop off the emeralds as well. And then um Oh, I don't know if you noticed, but I actually have a new emote. Um, and it is quite significant because it is a tally art reveal. If anyone um, in the chat has access to uh, to le, le emotes and wants to pop a tally in the chat, then um, I feel absolutely free to. This is fine. Fire ensues. Oh, that's me all the time. So I know that I've got, at the very least, lava in my little strip mine that I've been making over here. So let's just stop in it really quick to pick some things up. Namely, obsidian. Oh yeah, yeah, there we are. Yep, there's a frog emote and there's a tally emote. And uh, I'm, just, I, I'm just absolutely in love with them. Hey, Shirt Spoon! Welcome to the stream! Eee, we were just yeah we were just talking about the tally emote, and 
Uh, and I think it is so gorgeous. Because that's my dog. That's my pretty puppy right there. She's just my good girl. Um, let's go, let's go this way a little bit. I seem to recall there being lava somewhere down this way. Let's just, um, let's just do this for a second. Final Fantasy is good. Now time to watch the world burn. I mean, I, I, I personally don't, I don't mind the, the whole pineapple on pizza thing. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's a super huge deal. Oh, gosh. One minute. Whoop. There we are. Now let's just do it like this. I need, let's see, I've got, that makes six, seven, I need like ten total. Ah, come back. Come back, Mary Jean. Anytime I, anytime something goes away from me, I have to pull up. Nice. Um, Baylor, how do you start acting uh, 101? You're the only improv brother bear and I trust. Um, okay, how do you start acting? It depends on what you're going for. If you're looking into like more intense person acting, um, I definitely say you'll want to start by, um, I don't know, researching like Stanislavski or something because Stanislavski is like one of the, the biggest names in acting theory. Like Stanislavski and Chekhov um, are, are, are real big. But if you're talking about improv, um, mostly I'd say like find a group find people that like are doing it and like doing improv and see if you can cash in on what whatever it is that they're doing with their life. Okay, well, I've got my 11 obsidian. I kept hearing zombie noises. I don't know if I want to track them down. I do not have a gunpoint on my head to be a good actor, but let's pretend the stakes of that high for laughs. All right, all right, all right. Um okay. So Again, it still depends on if you're doing anything more improv-based or if you're doing something that's, like, scripted. Um, because if you're doing something scripted, what you want to do is you'll want to read the script. And then, uh, really, so I, I can do, like, a brief, just a brief explanation of the Stanislavski method. So, essentially, what you want to do is not imagine yourself to be the person, but use kind of, the, but try to understand their situation and what they've gone through. So look, you know, try to research, um, you know, where, what they've done in their life, what their, you know, what their world looks like, what cultural norms they may have to interact with, what people they've spent time with, and then use that knowledge to inform, like, hey, if, if I came from this situation and had all of these things, how would I react? How would I do these things? It's, it's kind of confusing, but, um, but that's basically, that's honestly the basics of acting, is trying to understand how other people, how other people would live their lives, um, or, you know, live their lives in the situations described. Uh, an immersion of family acting, that's super neat. Yeah, um, it's important that you don't go, that you don't use this as method acting, like, again, it, it's big important to not, like, tell yourself that you are the person, because that's bad. Telling yourself that you are the person can have really negative effects such as going crazy and being unable to distinguish your sense of self from the character that you're portraying and we don't we're not big fans of that so again essentially the the key to most modern um acting theory is to is that if you understand where where someone's coming from and like what they want and what they what they're willing to do to get what they want then you can kind of understand how they may react in certain situations so it's not the dirt letter method yeah no 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 none of that none of that so um modern acting is really more of reacting than acting so it's like this thing has happened how would this character that i'm portraying react to that and then everything is just a reaction from that point and i'm not i, I personally am again definitely more of an improv actor than anything resembling a, you know, a, a scripted actor, so I can't, like, really talk too much about it because I don't understand it myself most of the time. Um, if you're going for improv, um, I'd actually say that a really good thing to do to start is, um, doing just little improv exercises like warm-ups. You can find a lot of them online. Just things, um, I find it super hilarious that everyone in the Quimby Court could give a seminar on various topics that experts in. I'm done for the weekly meetup at the Quimby Alert Community Center. We just show up and we're like, 
hey, you want to talk about um, the candy making methods from the 1800s? Cool, I do too. Okay, so I kind of want to go an unusual way today. Um, I'm currently looking for a warm biome to be able to grow frogs in to get purple frog lights. Whoop. And I was thinking about it. And I haven't really explored past this birch forest over here too much. There's lots of other directions that I've gone to, but there's there's just this birch forest over here that I've never really touched. Um, were you making chainmail the first week uh, I ever joined your stream? Probably. Um, I do. I, I want to get more into like jewelry making chainmail, um, but I definitely was working on like a, an arm greave thing. Ooh. I should maybe uh, light this up a little bit. I know I'm immediately getting off topic, but this is close enough to my home base. I feel like it is a good plan to add some light here. Just so that, you know, maybe it'll not spawn things and then I won't lag. Um, that's honestly as far as I feel comfortable taking at the moment because, uh, yikes. But, you know, it's it's been lit up a little bit. Oh, point blank! Um, did you see the tally emote? Because I adore the tally emote. It's a tally art reveal, you know? For the first time ever, you can see what my dog looks like in art form. Uh, how's that proof it's your current mail? I, can, I can't feasibly stop a pencil attach, uh, attack by a two-year-old. How about a five-year-old child? Um, it's not very defensible whatsoever because it's not riveted or soldered. Um, that's a little bit beyond my skill level. So, uh, yeah, if I wanted it to actually be useful for anything, I would need to go through again and, like, do do some treatments to, uh, prevent it, pre to prevent the links from just pulling apart. But for decorative purposes, it's really pretty. I want to get down here to light some things up. Oh, gosh. There's easily accessible resources in this place. Oh no, I'm I'm not here for this. I'm here to look for frogs or a, a place to put frogs in. But yeah, it's Tally. It's my dog, baby girl Tally. Yeah, she's so pretty in the emote, and that's that's good because that's actually how she looks IRL. She is so pretty IRL too. I just I I, I love my dog, and Shard Spoon did such a good job with the emote. Really, there's a pillager here. <sighs> I'm gonna pretend I do not see. I'm just gonna go light this cave up and, <sighs> and the cave is done. Come on. Can't I just explore a cave in peace? Come on. What is up with that? Why do they follow me? Why, why, I go somewhere and then they go, ooh, that looks like a good place to also go. Can they just really not? Can they just stop? <sighs> it's so frustrating when you're the most interesting, exciting person in the room, so then other people, like, try to follow you around because of it. But it's like, they're not interesting, exciting. So really what they're doing is they're just making a fool out of themselves. And obviously I'm too, like, I'm, I'm too polite to call them out on it because that's part of being an interesting, cool person in the room is, you know, having tact. But they just won't leave me alone. <sighs> the nerve, the absolute nerve of these pillagers. Let me tell you, they're making such a faux pas right now. It's kind of unreal just how wrong they are. Yikes. Also cycling on like an international uh, warm born again trip. Uh, tell him if he's in Asia, I'll have him track your beam to my place and we're gonna we're just gonna feed him food and have him sing karaoke. Um, I don't know how much Cyborg feels comfortable with me talking about what he's doing. Uh, that I I mean I could definitely like message him and like ask if like ask how comfortable he feels with me talking about what he's doing. Um, but as far as as far as I know, he's planning to stay in the states for it. I mean, I haven't heard any plans of him going abroad. I'm pretty sure he would have told me if he was. I'd like to imagine this entire run of yours is just directed at Tally because no one else is in the room with you. Actually, Tally isn't even in the room with me. 
Um, because classes are out for the summer, there's more people home these days. Um, and as much as Tally likes me, she would much rather be, you know, where all the action is. So I've been abandoned by my dog. She's, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the copper. I'm not, I'm not here for the copper. I'm here to look for, um, I'm, I'm here to look for a warm biome. But, um, yeah, no, not, not even Tally is here. Uh, she's left me behind. They're suffering food different in general. <laughs> Welcome to Asia nerds. Hong Kong, I hope y'all like spring rolls. Gosh, someday I will just show up at your house and I will be sneaky and I will just break into your kitchen and I will eat all of your food. I hope that's all right. You know, I, I figured I'd give you advance warning just so you could like prepare, but just know that someday, uh, someday you, you will, you'll just find me there. And I will, I will have that like classic hand in the cookie jar sort of look and I'll just be like, well, I did warn you. I did let you know that this was my plan. Okay. I don't think I've traveled this way much, but it looks like we are already hitting more mountains and cold areas. So that's neat. That's exciting. That's fun. That's not why I was looking for it. Oh my gosh, I got leaf trapped. The leaves. I don't love the look of that because I don't love the look of that. But maybe we still go that way. I just realized something. Uh, middle child, super dorky, awkward, deadpan humor, has a certain charm and spice, self-deprecation, possibly tall, great improv skill, Quinkler is, uh, is just giving Conan O'Brien vibes. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea who Conan O'Brien is and would probably beat them in a fight. And that's what I'm gonna say about that. Conan O'Brien, whoever you are, wherever you are, fight me. I will win. I will, I would, I will, even if you yourself are like a professional fighter person, I will destroy you. Fear me. Fear my might. Oh, hi, Chad Cat. Hi, folks, this is Chad Cat popping in to prove that she's not a neglectful PR manager by asking you to give Quimbulert money. Hi, Chad Cat. Welcome to the stream. Howdy do. Hi, Chad Cat. Um. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea who Conan O'Brien is. Dude, dude, he's the best late night show talk show host right now. Okay, okay. So you're telling me that I could beat him in a fight because he's weak and uh and stays up late at night. Don't get me wrong, I also stay up late at night, but like I am stronger. Yo, is that Oh, wait. Hello, Acacia. Uh, a plane. Uh, what was it called? Savannah. A savannah biome might actually be exactly what I'm looking for. Cause I'm pretty sure that's a warm biome that frogs that uh, that the that, that, that the worm frogs spawn in. Uh, tall ginger comedian. Oh, well, I'm not ginger. He does have that up on me. That's one I may have to look into. He's very weak and lanky, but he does have great reach and fights like an old timey boxer. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, so tall reach is a concern because, you know, obviously if he can reach farther than I can, then maybe he can, like, I don't know, get in a, f a few good distance hits. But I feel like he may still be weak to me just, like, I don't know, showing up and gnawing on his ankles. Because because that, that's my main strength, I would say, is that I have absolutely no shame and uh, fight like a dirty ragamuffin. So, you know, I, I'd say that I still have a pretty good chance. Don't tell the story of me getting VIP for context or no. Oh, I, yeah, I can tell the story, Chad. I can tell the story. So, um, Conan O'Brien also has a very old time appearance and humor. He and John Delaney feel like they're comedians in the same time period, if that helps as a point of reference. Okay. So that kind of like dry comedic wit where it's like, and then I did, did a thing and it was funny and everyone laughs. Um, which, yes, that is how my brain that's what my brain associates with like old timey humor um have i been to this village before <laughs> side note have i been to this village before so essentially chad cat right so um i gave shard spoon vip because shard spoon has been you know being super cool and making emotes and stuff 
and Chad Cat gets wind of this. Uh, and th so Chad Cat messages me and is like, hey, what's the deal with Shardspoon having VIP before me? Like, I'm your PR manager. And I was like, well, you see, uh, like, Shardspoon has been like uh, uh, making emotes and stuff and has been helping out with some things. So I decided that it would be a good idea to give it to them. And Chad Cat says no. I've been here since show one and I still don't have a name which if anyone knows is a classic VeggieTales quote um, and so due to the combined power of, uh, of VeggieTales and also Chad Cat being you know lonely and alone because uh, Cyborg has abandoned her um, Chad Cat now has VIP <laughs> so congrats to Chad Cat can can we get a big welcome to the VIP for Chad Cat? It's nighttime. I need to sleep. Uh, dude, if I ever caught you in the middle of the night reading our kitchen, I'd be insensely didn't just walk through the front door because my mom would just cook you a six course meal and we'd drag you to sing karaoke shamelessly in the living room. Yeah. There we go. Thanks, Shardson. Thanks for yep. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm sure Chad Cat appreciates it immensely. Um, yeah, GG for Chad Cat. Chad Cat is eminent domain on all size properties on the CSMP. Yeah, that's that's what I heard. Um, but yeah, no, I I mean, but I, I feel like getting invited in the front door just doesn't have quite as much charm as like committing a crime, Com committing an old timey crime of sneaking in and stealing from the larder, uh, as they say in old timey crime moments. Yeah, you know all those old timey crime moments where they're like, "Oh, you, you kids sneaking into my larder and stealing the things." Yeah, so uh, from from the sound of things, um, Chad Cat may be just inheriting all of Cyborg's possessions and, like, I don't know, anything from his life. So if one day we stroll on over here and Chad Cat somehow has like I don't know moderator or something, um. I, I don't know. I guess Chad Cat is just Cyborg now. So that's cool. Thanks, Cyborg, for for disappearing and leaving everything you own to Chad Cat. Oh, that's. That's not fun. That's. I, I kind of want to light it up for the village. Because, you know, it's probably not great for the village to have this. This thing right here. But like, it's being very frustrating too. Hmm. There's also not. Uh, oh, there's not. A, there's not really a good path down there, which is kind of good because it means that like things couldn't make their way up. But it also means that if villagers fell down, they couldn't get up. And I'm not planning on sticking around here. The everyday and Asian person, you're going to be served loads of food no matter how hungry you are. Lily Pichu learned this when she met Michael Reeves' family, and she just said that the food did not stop. I mean, what, what can I say? I, I, I'm going to be honest. I actually understand that intensely because um, my my family is very uh, Eastern European <laughs> and um, and food is definitely like a big part of, I don't know, just the, the cultural expression of love, which I feel like is, uh, which is very similar. It's just that being able to provide for and feed the people you care about is just something that's very important. To um, to the to people of the similar cultures, so you know. I I, I feel the vibes. Um, I just paid bet debt to Duan for his house. Man, Chad Cat, you're you're really just. <laughs> you're you're really just providing for Cyborg in his in his time of need. Um, oh hey, Chad Cat's on creative mode and on the season I Guess size really gone now. Uh, to be fair, Sai never had creative mode on the CSMP. I'm I'm the only one with that uh, kind of power. But who knows? Maybe it'll happen. Maybe Chad Cat will just usurp all of us eventually. Maybe, maybe Chad Cat is just going through and collecting power so that we won't notice her um, her dominion. Hey, friend. You gonna... Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh, it's an Enderman. 
I will very carefully attempt to not look you in the eyes. Okay, I don't want to spend too much time here because, again, I am supposed to be make I'm, I'm supposed to be growing frogs at the moment. But, like... Uh, uh, <laughs> if, so, if so, I won't be back for a while, I'm taking all those amethyst. I don't think he can complain about that. I actually haven't given access to size my craft account, so... Gosh, Chad Cat, you're really just... You're really just taking all the power, huh? I mean, pop off. Pop off, but, like... Wow. Okay. Chad Cat Ku Wen. Possibly right now. We are possibly staring it in the face at this very moment. This poor Chad Cat Ku. <laughs> you start the mayor and it's still the baby princess's true server ruler. I mean, I'd like to be mad, but... I think it's kind of impossible. Oh, there's a pillager outpost right there. Wait a second, did that pillager outpost spawn in 119? Cause if it did, there could be a laze over there. This is an important question. This is an important question. Couldn't be court official princess. Couldn't be court official princess, Chad Cat. Okay. Oh, baby chicken. Listen, I know that this is probably where I die. I know that this is a mistake. I'm well aware that I'm making bad choices here. Uh, and now that I've made all of these disclaimers, I can legally approach. I don't want to, like, actually fight anything. I just want to... I just want to look. I just want to have a... I, I just want to have a talk. I just want to have a conversation. I just want to figure out what's happening here. Oh, that's a big pit. Okay, let's just... Hmm. Hmm. Not seeing any LAs. Which, if there if there isn't any LAs, then I see no reason to actually take this place on. Oh, there's an iron golem there. Yeah, not seeing any LAs. Okay, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. We're going back. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. There's no LA. This is... It has been scientifically proven to be not worth it. Um, oh, hi, Sally. Uh, uh, soon. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I thought Mr. Mook was doing like a shard spoon that does a thing. Chad Cat is cute, takes over the server for now. Uh, but yeah, um, but yeah, the, the tally emote is so precious and darling. Uh, any of y'all had the pleasure of using a monitor arm? If not, I highly recommend. I don't think I've ever used a monitor arm. That does sound interesting. But yeah, Sally welcomes our new Chad Cat overlord. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's when your monitor grows an appendage and serves you drinks while you epic game. That does sound really that does sound really nice and interesting. I too would like to be served drinks by a monitor with a uh, with a with an arm while I epic game. I was gonna say like with a prehensile arm, and I went, no, that's not right. It's just an arm. Most arms are prehensile. I need to find a good spot to um to grow my frogs. I need a I need a good frog spot. <sighs> what would a good frog spot look like? I mean, it has to have water, but I don't want it to have too much water, so that they don't you know disappear when I release them into the water. Um, uh, maybe I just need to make myself a little pool for the tadpoles. Maybe that's maybe that's good. Yeah, tally emote. Um. I, for one, welcome our new, uh, our new overlords. Okay, what I can probably do is I can probably just find a spot, build, like, a two-by-two two hole, um, fill it with water, drop my tadpoles in, and then, you know, have the frogs grow from that. I think that might be my best plan. Because I don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose my frogs. So, yes. It's possible to learn such power. Let me just learn the art of having my monitor grow an arm. That sounds like a, something that is normal to want and possible to achieve. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. Oh, that that went somewhere. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm still just so obsessed with the tally emote. Like, I know I've mentioned it, like, five separate times, but but that's my that's my puppy. That's just actually what she looks like. Yeah, yes, in art form, but like, Tally's art. 
you know, she she just is art. And I'm so happy that she's, the, the, you know, we've recognized this about her now. All right, I'm going to do some frogs. I'm going a, I'm to a grow some frogs right, right around here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that, infinite source, and then put it back. Boom, easy. Uh, probe monitor. Uh, keeps the monitor off the table, so she can pull it forward or push it back, raise it higher or lower to match your eyesight and posture, twist left or right to ensure the viewing angle, plus it's just super sexy to buy one for less than 20 USD here in the USA. Hey. Hey, that does sound pretty nice. Did you say frogs? Yes, I did. Yes, I certainly did. Oh gosh, just the, just the tally emote. She's such a good girl. Such a good dog. Okay, we've got one tadpole. Um, we've got two tadpole. And now I ensure that they don't die. And grow up strong to be big frogs. And then I build another portal. And then I see if there's a basalt delta anywhere nearby. You! Point blank is redeeming bring frogs. Okay, you know, it's... Yeah, that sounds about right. Wait, my parents agreed to give me Cyborg's Prime too. But for the time being, that hasn't happened. I just look like a figure for telling you all to give Quimby money. You'll get it someday, Chad Cat. Someday you'll get it. You know. You got this. Let's see where's... Oh, there's, there's the frogs thing. All right, let's get some frogs running. Um, so, Shardspoon actually did like a full frog um, for the frog amount, but then it, it was too small, so we changed it. So it was just the face. But I should add the I should add the artwork to the frog slideshow so that you all can see what it looks like. Okay, but yes, it's frogs time. Frogs are brought to you today by Point Blank, and here they are. Here they are. I missed my full frog. I can probably bring it up um, in just a second. One sec. Sorry, I want more frogs than that. Remember, if you don't have legal tender to give to Quimby Alert, you can always give memes. That's so true, actually. But look at the frogs. They're just, they're just little guys. They're just little guys. They're just hanging out. They're just popping off. They, yeah. They're good frogs, Brant. They're good frogs. Okay, I do kind of want to see if I can pull up the full frog image. Um, I know I've got it saved in several different forms. I want to see if I can find it in a large enough one that I can pull it up here. Okay, so thanks for the frogs point blank. Um, that's going to be the end of the slideshow, but I'm going to say that me finding the full shard spoon frog is going to be um, part of that. Okay, let's see if I can just pull it up on screen. One moment, please. Pictures of Timmy's equivalent of a crispy twenty dollars bill to Quimby selling the look. I mean, you're not wrong. You're you are not wrong. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's try this. Let's see if that'll do it. Oh, yep, there we are. Okay, it's a little bit small, and scroll, and you know, making it larger might affect the quality a little bit. But this is the full frog. They're simply frogs, Your Honor. They really are. Yeah, so this is the um, the original frog that Shardsoon made for the emote. Um, and yes, your honor. I know I said. Yeah. Y your, your honor. Yeah, so this is the full frog. And it's it's, it's just very cool. One, one sec, let me, let me do this so I can... Oh, my mouse is behind the frog. It's such a good frog. Um, Shardsoon does really good work, guys. Look at how cool that frog looks. And I'm so sad that I couldn't use the full thing for the emote because, like, yes, the face is cute, but look, it's just a good frog. Frig? Yes, frig. It is a frig. I kind of want to pull up, like, the full tally emote now j to show you guys because, um, be because yes. Because, you know, it it's a little small in proper emote form. So let's actually, let let's pull it up. Can you tell that I really like um, these these things that has that have been made for me by Shard Spoon? All right, there we are. Oh, that's entirely too large. One second. Whoop. Sorry, you'll probably see just like corners of it because it turns out the image is actually really large. Um, one one sec. I'm frantically changing the size of it. 
Oh gosh, the, what, is, what is happening here? Why, why is it so big? Okay, you know, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're doing the small version. Here we are. Okay, and there. That's the, that's my dog. That's my good girl. Yeah, so it's not a full drawing of Tally, it's just that the in emote form, um, it's rather small. And we lost some of the quality on this one because, you know, I had, because uh, it was a small version that I've enlarged, but like, that's my good girl. That's what she looks like. And that's like the color of her collar. And the, and the eyes are really good. Ah, oh, I'm just, I just absolutely in love. I think it's gonna go and start the next one to be soon. Yeah, I'm excited for the next one too. Um, so, and uh, basically, the the point of this whole thing is, um, yeah, big thanks to Shard Spoon for um, all of the really really cool work that they've been doing. She's she's such a good girl from us. She will get many ear scratches after this stream. Ah, I I wish that I could put the whole the high quality version without having it be weird and large and stuff because. She's just so pretty. She's so pretty. Can I, can I make it happen? Uh, no, I'd, I'd have to do I'd have to do some things to make it happen. We're just we're just gonna leave that there as is. Now I'm, I'm gonna get back to the game because um you know reasons. But yeah, thanks for the frogs point blank and also for giving me a chance to you know uh, uh, just be super excited for all of the things. But gosh, I love the. So yeah, Tally Art Reveal, that's what my dog looks like. She is the best of all of us. My inventory is so full at the moment. Let me sleep, please. There we are, that's what I wanted. But yeah, just... I, I, I'm, I'm just very happy about many things at the moment. And I'm also gonna want these tadpoles grow a little bit. I guess probably wait I can get started on preparations for figuring out what the nether looks like here. Let's leave them there for now and see if I can find a chest to just dump some things into. Is there a chest in this room? There's not a chest in that building. We have discovered this through trial and error. Oh, there is a chest here though. Um, let's see what I'm just gonna drop off. I don't want to drop off all of the things, because a lot of these things I actually want. Um, I guess I don't need, I don't need bones, and I don't really need two gunpowder. That's probably fine. I should have brought more arrows with me. That would have been a good thing to do. Let me go check my frogs. I don't think, like, I know that they haven't grown in that short time, but, like, what if they did? After looking at some potential lawn arms, there's another pro. Looks like it looked like you're working at Aperture Science with the mechanical arms coming from your desk. Oh, that is pretty tempting, actually. Yeah, it's always been my goal to look like I work at Aperture Science. I didn't bring flint and steel. Okay, I've got steel. Let's see if we can just find some random gravel somewhere. I should have brought flint and steel. So that's big awkward for me. Ooh, gravel. Ooh, gravel. Where are you? Oh, there's four rotten flesh here for some reason. That's interesting. Okay, so there's some gravel down here. Not sure where that came from. I didn't do that. I'm pretty sure. But let's just, uh... Go ahead and drop that. And then, can I just... Yes, I can. All right. Fortune pickaxe comes in handy yet again. Boom. Got him. Okay, what is what is happening up here? Why is there suddenly water? I don't think I did anything to make that happen. We're just not going to worry about it. Where did my... Where were my frogs? They were over here somewhere, right? Oh no, I've lost them. Ooh. 
Wait, maybe they're this way. Wait, I think they're this way. Oh, wait, I, I'm pretty sure they are- I'm pretty sure that they are this way. <sighs> no, no thoughts head empty. No thoughts head empty. I watch your career with great interest. That's- You know what? Me too. Me too, Mr. Maluk. Me too. <laughs> okay, they're fine. So I can't believe the modern armor is exactly what it sounds like. I mean- but I, I do be exactly what it sounds like, though, is the thing. Is like they're they're not wrong. They're not wrong. That monitor do be arm. Let me just make a quick stop in this house yet again to um, drop off seeds and rotten flesh. That, that's all it's really good for here. Yeah, I definitely should have brought more arrows with me. Didn't think about that, but um, it's probably fine. It's probably 100% chill and normal and... Aw, oh, they bumped into each other! I'm gonna drink some water. Imagine not having, not having a sense of direction like Quimby Alert. Uh, Chad, are you trying to call me out? Are, are you trying to imply something? Are you... Are, are you... Are, are you saying something? Because, uh... You wanna go? You wanna fight? You wanna... You wanna go? We can go, we can fight. No, actually, I, I would... I would actually never fight Shard... Uh, the, the Shard... I almost said I would never fight Shard Spoon. Which, I don't think I'd sh fight Shard Spoon either, but I'd definitely not fight Chad Cat. <laughs> I'm in my mistaking Chad Cat's name for Shard Spoon's name. I'm very sorry to both of you. Hmm, still not a fan of that pillager outpost being over there. I mean, it'll probably be useful for something someday, but like... Hmm... Uh, it's kind of true though. I mean, you're not wrong. I do have absolutely no sense of direction. You're not wrong. I, I just wanted to ask if you wanted to fight because of it, I guess. Frogs, do your thing! Frogs, do your thing! Frogs, do your thing! How long has it been since I dropped these guys? Surely it's been like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm the kid in the back of the car on a road trip being like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Surely it's been like an hour since I last asked. It's like, no, it's been two minutes. I'm gonna jump into this log and surely that will pass the time until the frogs are grown surely that will pass the time until the frogs have grown surely the frogs will have grown by the time I jump around this tree and back <sighs> so have they, have they ever considered being adults have they ever have they ever considered being adults about this? Like, come on. It's not that difficult. It's not that huge a deal. Let's just Let's just get this set up. Ta da And now when the frogs come to full growth I will be able to go to the nether and learn if this is a good spot to have frogs or if I will need to take them somewhere else okay other thing I want to do while the frogs are still you know in their not grown state I want to steal a fence from somewhere so I can leash the frogs um this is a good place to steal a fence from I've stolen a fence the fence Surely has been stolen. I didn't bring name tags for them. Huh. Chat, is that a problem? Um, is, is that an issue that I didn't bring name tags for the frogs? Are they going to despawn? Am I going to wreck absolutely everything by not having name tags for them? Because I'd, I'd hope that they wouldn't despawn. Especially, like, if... Hmm... Because because they've been in a bucket. Uh, while while we stare at these 
frogs for just a second. Let me just look up. Do I need to... No, I... Pre not, not need. Need. To... Name... Tag... Frogs. Do I need to name tag frogs? Um... Minecraft. Do I need to name tag frogs? Minecraft. I do not- I'm not looking for frog na I'm not looking for frog name tags, Etsy. I'm looking for Minecraft. Okay. I keep worrying that, like, I'll be looking away from the screen and, you know, can trade with a villager? Yeah, but I'd have to trade with the librarian and get it all the way up to, you know, um, get it up to the things. Um, <clears throat> hmm. It does not say anything about it. Uh, my impression is that they are like less likely to despawn unless you disconnect from the world, but chunk isn't loaded, or the RNG is not kind. Yeah. I probably should have, um... I probably should have brought name tags, is just the answer there. Really, really should have just brought name tags. And, okay, I'm looking them up on the wiki. Um, I don't hear about sounds. No, I, I just, I want, I just want to know if they despawn if. I, I just want to know if they despawn if I don't name tag them. I don't, no, no, I, I just, I just want to know. I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. Ba -ba -ba. Show me. Might take a while, but you could. I mean, I guess you're not wrong, Chad Cat. You're not wrong about that. Hopefully, leads will help them not despawn. Um, as far as I know, leads don't actually have an effect on despawning or not. It's mostly like boats and stuff because boats are considered an entity. Um, I, oh my gosh, it's been almost an entire full day, and these frogs have not turned. These tadpoles have not turned into frogs. How ridiculous is that? I, I spend all my time and energy finding a place to, to give them, and they still don't do it. I've just come to the realization that maybe I should have gone through the portal before committing to this location, on the off chance that this is just a terrible spawn. Okay. I also should have brought fire res. Oh man, I'm so unprepared. And I should have brought gold too. I didn't bring gold. Okay, um. That doesn't look like a great spawn for what I'm looking for. Huh. That doesn't that doesn't look fantastic. So maybe we name tag these guys and then take them on leads back to my village. I think that might be it. Book be A. Go back to get name tags. B. Find an abandoned mine shaft in the hopes to find some name tags. C. Become a penguin. Or D. Something else. Um, something else at this point, probably. We're not that far from spawn. We're just, yeah. We're, we're just like a thousand blocks or so. It's, that's not too bad. I can take some frogs on leads back to my village. My village also isn't a great spot for finding magma cubes but i i can make it work you know i can i can surely make it happen hmm so you know this is fine this is fine it, it's totally 100 percent completely fine we're just i just need them to grow up here so that they um so that they have what i want so yeah through the portal there was a uh, crimson forest and I saw hints of a soul sand biome soul sand valley that's what we're looking for um the, the not what we're looking for the word I'm looking for um yeah neither of those are really known for their magma cubes I really would have wanted basalt this is like the one time that I would want basalt is is this in particular other option is building another portal actually in the nether um, over at the Basalt Delta. 
uh, so that taking things through is less of an ordeal. It's decently far enough from my main portal that I it might be a hassle working with that. But if I could just set some frogs up there and then, you know, do a thing right, it, it, it would be a lot easier, for sure. It's easier to find a basalt diamond. You said it as I was typing it? Yeah. The trouble is that I either need a basalt biome that has a portal leading to a warm a biome, or I just need to move my frogs to a spot where they have access to basalt. I love that there's just the ominous pillager outpost over there. And it's just taunting me. And I'm not going to go over to it because I don't want to and there's no reason to. I'm here for frogs. But, like, it's just there. Come on. I feel like poking them with a stick and being like, come on, do something. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do, do something. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. It's been a full Minecraft day. How long do these things take to grow up? Yeesh. Can you imagine the nerve of not being convenient for me personally? That is so impolite. I, I cannot believe that they are attacking me with this. Come on. Come on. I could, like, go raid the village more while I'm waiting for them to grow up. Is that what you want? You want me to, to, to have, you know, need something to do badly enough that I'm, like, looking in a village and find things oh a compass whoa, whoa, whoa i've never picked up a compass before yeah what are you gonna do about it huh what are you, what are you gonna do about it i'm taking your compass and i'm getting out of here Ooh, so dangerous oh no oh no so scary you brought this upon yourselves you brought this upon yourselves me watching them makes them nervous well <sighs> Well, maybe if they would just communicate that instead of just swimming around in that little block area, maybe I'd feel, I don't know, a little more sympathetic to their plight. Come on, guys. It's not that hard. Just, just a little communication. If they... If we go another full day without them doing anything... I think that's a I think that's a sign that I'm doing something wrong and I will look more into that. And, oh hey, this is the village that I found watermelons in. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's kind of cute actually. I remember this spot. I remember this spot. There's a spider spawner up here. Yeah. Man, how wild is that? They're children, Tom. So, so, should we be thinking of frog names in advance? Oh yeah, good plan. If you have strong feelings on what a frog should be named, this is the time to think about that. Alternatively, I feel like I'll come back and there will be only one tadpole and the other frog will have gone somewhere. Uh, the difference in moods. Yes, and? I don't see a problem with this. I don't know why it's such a big deal. Don't know why it's uh, don't don't know why we gotta be that. I, I I I will say I I do have a tendency to, you know, get a little whenever um, I'm impatient for things. So uh, I promise I'm fine. I'm just being silly. Brogatha. A strong name. A, a strong warrior's name. I like it. Frogatha. Yo! Hay bales. Oh, that's why there aren't as many hay bales in this village. Because I took, like, a stack of them the other day. Okay, I remember that. And... 
Yeah. I lit that area up a little bit. Okay. I'm going back. I'm going to check on them. Because I am really worried that they are going to grow up while I'm gone and then start hop, hop, hopping away. But like... It has been almost two full Minecraft days. How long, how long did tadpoles take to do... Uh, Sir Anthony. <laughs> Good twelfth knife reference. Um, Senor Trig. Special characters required. Um, Sir Hopsalot. These are good names. How long do tadpoles take to grow Minecraft? Okay, so this says it can take a maximum of 20 minutes for tadpoles to grow into frogs. But like, I feel like we've been here possibly for like 20 minutes, you know? I, I feel like that's, that that's a thing. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 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 okay, okay, uh, oh, um, hold on, hold on, I was not paying attention. Oh, that def- okay, I got taken by surprise there. Uh, hey friend. GG! Yep, yep, thanks, Shirt Spoon. Oh, and there's our second one. Okay, cool, 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 awesome, cool, yes, 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 this is what we want. Um, it's almost nighttime, so I don't know that I want to start on our journey quite yet. Frogs don't need water to survive, right? I'm pretty sure they don't need water to, sur sur to survive. That would be silly. Why would they need water to survive? Clearly, it's fine. Yep, thanks for the frogs, guys. Appreciate the, um, appreciate the frog emotes in chat. This is an appropriate time for it. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright. I am actually going to mine this nether portal because I don't like the idea of just having a random nether portal you know, hopping around, uh, hopping around, get it, if I'm not going to be using it. So that's just gonna stay there. And I am going to watch as, like, the frogs die while I'm doing this. And I'm like, no, it was all for nothing. It was all for naught. Um, but I'm going to keep this obsidian because I do like the idea of building another portal in the nether over by where the basalt delta that is easily accessible is. So I don't have to, like, you know, take magma cubes on a big ol' long journey to get them to a portal. Let me sleep, please. Hi, friends. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Let me sleep so I can take them home, please. Please, I beg. Ah! That one came to say hello. The frog said hello. It, it came in over and said hi. That was nice. I appreciated that. Good job, frogs. Good job. Whoop. Well, that's not what I intended to do, but you know what? It's fine. All right, friends. Um, we're going to need to find our way back to my regular village. And I'm pretty sure it's this way. Let's test that theory. Yep, it is this way. Alright, guys. Make sure you keep up. I don't want to lose one of you randomly. Todd? <laughs> Just name one of them Todd. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of like the word- I, I kind of like the names Frogatha and Todd. Frogatha is, you know, a strong frog's name. And then Todd is just a guy. I love how they waddle. I especially love how if I'm going, if I'm like moving with them on a lead too fast, they do, they speed up. Their little waddle goes. So I'm going to try to not, you know, go so fast that they, that their leads break. But, um, but it is kind of cute when they have to speed up their little waddle. My 11 toddles became frogs. Apparently I was like... I was just starting to look up like how long it takes tadpoles to become frogs and I was getting exasperated and then they both turned into frogs within the space of a minute. So I guess that just goes to show me, you know, I should have known. I should have- I never should have questioned the frogs. 
we're on it. We have got a delicate balancing act here where I want to move fast because I don't want this journey to take a long time. But I need to ensure that I don't lose the frogs. Luckily, it seems that losing frogs is a lot harder than even like losing a pig or something on a lead. <sighs> well, I'm not risking that. I am I am not risking that. No way know how I'm taking my frogs within bow range. Um, uh, take care of those frogs, Mary. I gotta go sleep. Have a great stream. Oh, bye, point blank. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the shenanigans. Uh, may your monitor arm serve you sweet dreams. Mm. The monitor arm of, that serves you drinks. Yes, yes. Jazz music stops. Oh my gosh, where did the jazz go? Where did the jazz go? No! Why is the jazz music stopped? This is actually concerning for many reasons. I've lost a frog. Where did I lose the frog? There you are. Where did... Where, there... Oh gosh. Uh, that was scary for a second. I was afraid. I was, I was worried I was going to lose my frog friends. But no, it's fine. It's fine, the frog friends are still here. I, I, I'm so worried that I'm gonna like break their leads somehow. If I could fly, I could just take the frogs with me. Um, do these clips end? They do, yes. Um, I'll probably watch it post stream because you know, I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little busy getting these frogs home at the moment, but uh, where but where did the jazz music go? Where did it go? Typical Todd, just a guy. He's just a guy. He's just a guy, Your Honor. He's just a guy. All right. So if I remember correctly, I need to go this way. This is going to be so much fun to work around having the cold mountains here and my worm frogs. I don't think that the frogs are going to cause too much of an issue. Okay, I was so worried. I was like, where did my other frog go? It was there. It was just hiding behind the other frog. <sighs> These leads. They're so deceptive sometimes. They're so silly. Okay. I gotta get them around the mountains because, you know, if either I or they fall in powder snow, that is it. Like, that's the end of that story. So we just gotta find an alternate route. Come on, friends. Um, yeah, let's go this way. Come on, frogs. Come along. Come along, froggy friends. They can go underneath the leaves. They are small. Huh. Oh, hi, Lord. Thanks for the exclamation marks. I am transporting frogs across large distances, and I'm having so much fun with it. I'm, I'm really enjoying this whole having creatures on leads thing. It's definitely got to be one of my favorite Minecraft moments, is having frogs on leads. I mean, in all honesty, they are really cute, and it is fun having them come along on the journey. But, like, I am filled with so much anxiety that I'm going to lose one of them at all times. Get jump scared? I I did. I, I did, actually. Chill nature walk with frogs. Ah, yes. The classic chill nature walk with frogs involving me being constantly concerned for their welfare. Let's actually go this way, frog friends. Frogs and friends. Oh, I found a little secret passage. Ah, oh, they're so cute, though. It's like moving them is very tricky, but they're so darling and precious. That was all Sienna. Ah, yes, by Lord. Come along. Come along. New Quimby ASMR just dropped. The chill. You were walking through a forest with frogs. And while I am struggling to ensure that their leads do not break. And they get home safely. 10 out of 10 ASMR. Okay. Let's take them this way. 
You can make it, buddy. You can make it. Come on, friends. Come on, just this way. Yeah! I'm so worried that I'm going to, like, fall off a cliff or something while walking backwards. It's so concerning. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are making it. We are making it. Is that a gorge? That is not a big gorge, but it's a little bit of a gorge. <sighs> I'm so worried I'd lost a frog for a second. We can make our way around this. This is fine. Okay, frog friends. Come this way. Come this way, frog friends. They're so precious, but they move so slow. And I'm I'm concerned about that because I would I want to move fast. I want to actually like finish this journey pretty soon. And I can't do that if they're just constantly going so slow. The music, it is pretty music. You're absolutely right about that, Chad Cat. Okay. Come on, guys. Uh, yep. Yeah, yeah, come, come, come on out. Come on out, out of that little. Yep. Yeah, there we are. Come this way. Come this way, and then we're gonna make our way across this little bridge. And it's gonna be fine. Definitely, one hundred percent for sure. Fine. I mean, we're we're making it. It's. It's taking a little bit of time, but we're we're making it. Okay, we're about halfway there. Wow, living on a prayer. Take my hand, we'll make it. I swear. Wow. Here, let's just ooh, let, let's not engage with that guy. No, no, no. Me and my frogs do not interact with um with burning zombies. Got him. Okay, let's just go this way. I hear zombie noises. I hear spider noises. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to zoom. Yep, we are just we are just going to zoom. Yep, we're just gonna zoom. We're just not gonna worry about that burning zombie following us. We're just gonna go this way very fast. Yep. This is great. We are, we are we're just going on a relaxing little nature walk. Frog say, I just don't know what you want from me, Quimby. Well, we're we're ma you know we're we're doing great. We're we're having so much fun on this little journey together. See, we're just traveling and having a good time. We're we're having so much fun together, and we are definitely not worried about that guy who was on fire a little bit ago. That's obviously 100% fine. No problems here. <sighs> Hi, bud. Hey there. It's getting on towards nighttime. I'm gonna have to sleep soon. Uh, but the frogs, the frogs! They gotta get back! Okay, we'll stop for the night. We'll stop for the night and just... And just it, and it's just gonna be fine. We just stop and we sleep. Big sleep vibes here. Let me sleep. Let me sleep, please. Pardon me. I would like to sleep. Okay. We are awake. And we are going this way. And my frogs are following me because they're good little frogs. They're good little frogs who are excited to meet their new friends. AKA magma cubes. They're so excited to meet their new friends, magma cubes. Like, gosh. I'm sure the second they see their new friends, they're just gonna give them a big old greeting. Can you imagine? I, just, I bring the magma cubes in. I bring the frogs in. They say hello to each other. I make sure I haven't lost either of them on their leads. I was going this way. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why I was going up there because I need to actually go down. Do, 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 do. I mean, the when I introduced Frogbert to Magma Cubes, Frogbert was very excited. 
should rename your your stream to chill nature walk with frog so that when people come on they realize the quimby cannot chill i mean i can chill i can i can definitely 100 percent be chill don't mind all of the evidence to the contrary because i personally am saying that haha yes i definitely can chill 100 percent definitely okay this is where it's gonna get rough is I need the frogs to come up here with me. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah, come on this way. You can make the jump. I promise you can make the jump. Whoa. Okay. All right. One of the frogs got hurt. It's okay. Dude, is that a mushroom? Do you realize the opportunity you're missing? Of course, and now the frog goes up there normally. Come on, bud. Dude. This whole mountain is covered in snow. Do you know the street value of this mountain? Come on, friends. Come on. Take them let's take them this way. Come on. I love that the music is like trying to make this calm frog on mushroom. Oh, I mean you're not wrong, Chad Cat. You're not wrong. Ooh, that I I am missing opportunity there. I just I just don't think I can get it to work out too well here at the moment. Cause I just gotta get them up. And they are not cooperating with coming up. Okay. Yes. 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 Good job. Good job. Yes. I'm gonna need to get more slime balls because one of them definitely got hurt at some point there. I don't know what point. At, like, I know what point, but I don't know which one it was. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I, j I just need more slime in general. I should head out to a swamp sometime and just vibe. Okay, friends, we are almost there. You're doing so well. <laughs> Wait, was that a mushroom? Um, possibly. There are many mushrooms in these woods. Okay, now ready? We're gonna come up here. And we're gonna go up. Yes. 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 Oh, Chad, they're making it. They're doing such a good job. They're doing such a good job following directions. Yes. Yes. Oh, we are almost there. You're almost there. Just got a little bit further to go. Oh, so you're not sure I just saw red. I mean, valid, Chad Cat, valid. I too see mushroom. Uh, see red and go, is that a mushroom? Okay, um, I, okay, um, uh, we're, we're actually not gonna be going up there. We're actually gonna be going around because there's a little down section there. Okay. Come on. Don't get stuck on a tree. Don't. Don't get stuck on a tree. Just don't. Just don't. My advice, uh, if you're stuck on a tree, simply do not get stuck on a tree. Come on, friends. Come on. Come on, come on, friend. Come on. Okay. Okay. Yes! Good job! Good job! Okay, and now we go this way. Oh, chat, we are so close. I am so ready for some disaster to strike at the last second, causing all of my hard work and effort to just simply be for naught. Okay. Yeah, good, good. 
Like, I don't know, I feel like something's gonna happen, because that's just the way that my luck runs. That's just the way that I be. Okay. Okay. There's the village. I just have to get them across this last little expanse, and I can put them in the pond. I think the pond will be a decent place to hold them while I'm, you know, figuring out other things. A mushroom? I mean, there, yeah, almost certainly was a mushroom there. I can build them, I can build them a better mushroom, you know? And once I, once I figure out the setup I'm going to use to have an efficient frog lights farm, I can get them more mushrooms. I can get them better mushrooms. I can, I can make them a mushroom full existence. And there's the pond. All right. Come on down here, friends. And let's just get you all set up. Let's just get you all set up here. Did I get them? Yes, okay, I got them attached to it. Ta-da! And now I've got more frogs here. So it's, it's good. It's great. Things are going really, really well. Okay, I don't have, um, I don't have magma cubes on hand. And getting a magma cube up to the portal last time was really difficult. So, I kind of want to see if I can make it less difficult for myself. Hey, I just remembered that I put some iron in here at the start of the day and didn't ever do anything with that. That was weird. Okay, um, let me sort my inventory really quick and then we'll get started on some things. Some thoughts and some plans and some stuff that's happening. So, okay, I've got 10 obsidian and a flint and steel on me. Let's just go to the basalt biome area that's close by and like d d make a portal, just see what's up. Oh, and okay, I am going to name tag them first. Let's just drop some things off. I also want to drop off some this stone that I have and pick up some cobblestone because cobblestone. Uh, Quimby, can we have frog on mushroom? No, we have frog on mushroom at home. Are you saying that frog on mushroom at home is inadequate? Or are you, are you saying that me making a promise to make a frog on a mushroom later is, is, is not gonna happen? Like, I mean, I, I respect the meme. Don't get me wrong, I respect the meme, but also, like, it's it's gonna happen, I pro- I promise! I, I promise it's gonna happen. So let's just get ready for another journey. Um, you know, trade out my water bucket and all that. Just get ready, um, I'll pick up some fire res when I'm back in my house to pick up some other things. And, you know, we'll just see what's happening with it, we'll just see what- what it's all about. Do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's what it's all about. Okay. So we're gonna get, um, so we've got, um, Frogatha and Frog on Mushroom at home. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You haven't seen this place yet? Oh, the pond or, um, or, or other things along it is Frogatha and, what was the other one again? Todd. Frogatha and Todd. We will get Frogatha and Todd. Let me just sleep first real quick because it is night time and it is sleep hours. Let me sleep. I, it's The sky is getting dark out there. It's night time. Yeah, the pond is just my little frog enclosure. Um, I think I need the walls to be one higher so that the frogs don't escape and I will get to that at some point. At some point, surely, I will make the pond a nicer spot for them. Maybe I'll put some mushrooms in, you know? Give them a- give them a little- a little thing. Okay. So we've got, um, Frogatha is one. There goes my anvil. This is fine because I have a crafting table that I didn't actually put down. Okay. Um, let's make- three of these. 
with the iron that I just got. And then, boom. Boom. How is it that my anvil in a mayor's paradise is has been around for so long? Like, the one that I keep around in my shulker box. It's stuck around for so long, and then I've lost two anvils here already. This looks like a little hobbit hole. Cute. Oh, yeah, this is just my little house. This is my house. This is where I live. <laughs> Frog at that end, Todd. Alright, we've got that. Let me grab some fire res while we're in here. Just for safety. Um... Oh, I need to... I need to plant some nether wart sometime soon. Chat, don't let me forget, at some point, um, nether wart planting has to happen. I should build, like, a space for it. Like, a, a little room. Maybe in my house, maybe in the cavern. Actually, the cavern is probably not a bad idea. Alright, so we have... Frogatha? We have Todd. Yep, Frogatha and Todd have now joined the ranks of the frogs. Frogatha and Todd join the battle. Alright, and it's another time. Uh, we know what happened last time we went to build a little room for a specific purpose. Overextension on things. No, but if I do it in the cavern, then it's fine. Because the cavern is a clearly business-like space. You know, the, the, the cavern is just for, just for business. So it's fine. Because it's, it's business. It's business. All right. We're in, we've made it. I should have grabbed more arrows, but it's probably fine. Oh, there's probably another rack here left over from when I brought um from when I brought Maggie through. I am just gonna reclose this area a little bit. Cause it is pretty scary. just honestly this is mostly going to be a little reconnaissance mission you know just to see what is on the other side of the basalt area you know if there is you know somewhere i could build a thing over there it's enough blocks away that i don't think the portals are going to link up but it's also enough blocks away that it's frustrating to go through. I should really build myself a spot on the nether roof at some point. But that's a lot of effort. Whoa. Whoo! Quick reflexes! Okay. Ah, oh, the cast is all the way over there. I don't want to shoot at that because that's an area that's likely to have a lot of zombie pigmen in it. Cool. Cool, cool. Love the habit of gas to just show up out of nowhere. Okay. This is probably fine. Another portal. And let's see where this takes us. It's probably gonna be underground. Lush cave, interesting. Okay. Cool. Neat. Um, I'm not upset with this actually. Like, uh, oh, and a mine shaft. Like, I mean, it's not ideal. Especially because, um... You know, it, it, it's not ideal. But it's not... Whoop, there's another creeper there. This is a pretty difficult place to make defensible. 
but but I'm not mad. You know, I'm I'm not I'm not upset about it. I need to check my cords, but I want to make this area safe enough to do that first. I mean, if I found like an ox axolotl or something, I wouldn't be upset. This would be a good spot to like get supplies and things. Um, yeah. Again, it's not. It's not great, but it's interesting. I'm intrigued by this. It is so difficult to tell if there's a creeper or not when in a lush cave when it's dark because there's so much green. Okay. Okay, okay. No, I don't need to leave torches here. Diamonds. That means we're pretty low. I mean, there, there's deep slate all around me, so obviously we're already pretty low, but... mine the diamonds and maybe retreat back to um my spot okay i'm gonna head out can we go look at the stream yep thanks i'm probably gonna end decently soon just want to um figure out what in the heck is happening here okay cool 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 There's a, yeah, there's a lot going on here. Whoop. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, cool. Awesome, cool, amazing. Love this. Hmm, it's so much fun here. I need to get back up there. <laughs> You can't climb these, can you? I don't think you can. I don't think down there is where it connects to my other spot because I don't see any torches. So I'm gonna have to build up. Let's just, um. We do, we do a little bit of digging up as a treat. Okay, there we are. This music is also just ever so slightly eerie enough to make me go, I'm in danger. Okay, so this area would definitely need some work if it was going to be my main um, frog base. But you know, I'm, I'm still not like upset about it. I have been meaning to find like a proper lush cave for a while. This is pretty neat. If I could find an axolotl, that'd be so cool. And there's enough, um, there's enough glow berries around to keep it pretty naturally lit. So, you know, obviously that's fine too. I expect we're about 500 blocks from my other portal, is would be my guess. Um, I don't know the exact location of my other portal, but I know that my village is pretty close to spawn, so we can assume, you know, close to zero zero for that. See, that's the other thing is this, um, this mine shaft up here may be an issue. I don't know that I super expect it to be an issue, but, but yeah, considering that there's a zombie emerging from it right now, it could be. Lush caves are so cool. Okay, probably just gonna maybe hop over there really quick and see like what's happening. I don't want to go too far into it because <laughs> mine shafts. And there could be a creep around any corner here. Okay, saw some cobwebs up there. Is that a dangerous amount of cobwebs? No, it's just one. 
Oh, see, there's a creeper just around the corner. Gotta make sure I don't get flanked. Yeah, it's not a problem. I'll probably, in fact, want to come through here sometime and, like, collect what resources I can. But, um... But, yeah... see what we got. That's the way down and back. Let's just light up like the first little tunnel space. Spider noises could indicate a spider spawner nearby. I love random vines just growing in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so we're not too low because there's stone so close to here. I'm going to assume that that's probably above me, and that I don't need to worry too hard about it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to that eventually. Uh, for now, I want to get back to the portal and check the cords. Um, I should have lit, a, lit up the mineshaft enough that it's not an immediate danger. There is probably more danger this way. Yeah, there's skeletons, which are less than ideal. Huh, get get owned bat. Get owned. Okay. Let me just eat some food real quick. Just in case like a creeper falls on me or something. I keep saying I want to get back to the portal to check the cords. And then I just keep exploring further. And honestly that's a little bit par for the course for me, but still like I I honestly should get back at some point. Okay. <gasps> I don't have a water bucket on me. Okay, I can... I can make a water bucket. I've got enough iron. I can, I can just make a quick bucket. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and axolotl. The cutest predator. We got him. Okay. Let me just, uh... Yeah, there's a zombie over there. Cool. Just trying to light up the darkest areas. Is that a zombie villager? Cool. Love that for you, bud. Um... You know what? Let's just ignore these guys. It doesn't look like they can get to me at all. I'm just gonna go find my portal and look at the cords. Yep, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> there we are. Alright. What have we got coordinates wise? Um, okay. So that's obviously not ideal. I wonder, okay, and we are below deep ocean, so that's also going to make it a little bit rough. Um, I could walk my frogs through the nether over to here, but then that does kind of defeat some of the purpose. Huh. I think for now I'm just going to go back to my village using this portal. Yeah, let's just go back here for now and worry about the details another time. That, that was mostly an exploratory journey. I wasn't really expecting anything fantastic from it. Um, yeah, I guess, I, so I could bring my frogs in here and it would be a frustrating and dangerous journey, but I could take them over to where um, that portal is and then I don't know, set some things up. Probably the most efficient option would be to find a way to the nether roof and then, you know, do a classic nether roof style farm. The trouble is that that is uh, with that is that I need to find a way to the nether roof. Um, I'm a little bit terrified of it because I know if I mess it up and do something wrong, then I'll get stuck up there. And considering that this is hardcore, there's no easy way out. Let me just sleep real quick. And 
let's get ready. I don't know if there's any mobs out here. Do a quick mob check. And then I think that's gonna be it for today. Okay. Do not see any mobs. So, you know, if there were, they're doing a good job of hiding it. Let's go ahead and just end up in here. Whew. Um, yeah, here, let me... I'll put you guys on the frog screen and switch to some jazz. You know, just just our classic ending. All right. So, oof! Thanks so much, everyone, for coming today. Um, I hope you had a good time. I I've really gotten myself into something here with this whole uh, frog lights idea. I'm, this the answer is I'm probably just not prepared for it whatsoever but oh well that makes us human yeah thanks for watching um i hope you guys enjoy the new tally emote i will try to remember to add it to the discord whenever i you know whenever i just literally have a chance to remember um but yeah i will be back tomorrow i stream monday through saturday starting at 1 p.m eastern time um maybe tomorrow we'll do more with uh some things either going to find a mangrove swamp or figuring out more with frog lights but i don't know maybe i should gosh maybe i should get more frogs and then have you know each kind of frog i don't know but let's go ahead and find someone to raid to end things out but yes um definitely we'll be back tomorrow let's see who we've got let's see that I really watch regularly is doing Minecraft so I might just look for we might do a blind raid unless you uh, if you guys have someone to recommend I definitely would uh, be taking suggestions at the moment um, but yeah give me just a sec thanks for the fun real yeah thanks Sally big appreciations all right, let's see who we got. See who we have. Um, hmm. Let's go with this person named Carpa Links. They seem pretty cool and neat. They're also doing hardcore, it looks like. Um, and I, I don't know, the image has them with like a totem and a pickaxe, so it looks like you know, they're kind of popping off a little bit. Um, I haven't ever checked them out, so hopefully they're cool and plug And if they are, uh, please consider maybe following, sticking around. Um, and me, just just generally being fun people. But um, I th yeah, that's going to be it for me for today. Um, I've lost words, but uh, thanks guys for coming. I'll see you next time. Go be cool. Go be pog. Have a good day. Bye.